right, so if you found yourself in a medium duty truck with a manual transmission, there is a good chance it has an Eaton two speed rear end, which is characterized by this little controller on your shifter. So in addition to your regular gears, you have high and low range. In this video, we're gonna show a real world example of how to shift that because the information on the visor is helpful, but there's nothing like seeing it in person. So let's get in the truck and hit the road. So when the truck's empty, I just go, I leave it in high range and I just go up one through four. So you don't do the low one at all? If it's empty? Correct. Unless I'm like going up a big hill or going yeah. a trailer or something. Yeah, I'll if I'm if I'm trying to pick up a lot of speed going up a hill, then I'll use it. I'll go one through three, and then I'll go four and I'll go in low. Yeah. And uh, then go to four high. Yeah. You in fourth right now? Yeah, I'm in fourth high. And so how many gears have high and low? Just three and four? They all do. Oh, every single one of them. Yeah. Jeez, all right. So what happens is if you're driving along and you just go one through four, it's just like driving a, a four-speed truck of any kind. And then you click it again. But if you want to split shift, you would go, you'd start out in first gear low, and then you'd go switch to high. And then you'd go into second gear and put it back into low which would be like third. And then second high. And then second high would right. be like fourth. Yeah. So all together though, with high and low, it's basically an eight speed then. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And you can split shift it however you want, depending on how much load you're carrying. Yeah.
that concludes the intro to two-speed rear ends. One thing I'd like to mention for safety is you're not supposed to shift the axle when you're going down a hill if you're engine braking because if you try to shift that and it's not synchronized, you can either damage something or you can get it so you're basically freewheeling in neutral down a hill. So try to stay away from that. Don't power through it. If you try to shift the axle and it's grinding, try to use finesse and figure out why you're causing that and get things to line up better. And in short time, you'll be driving the thing like you own it. So stay tuned for part two for some more specific techniques when you really want to fine tune this. But this should be enough info to get you started. If you like the video, it really helps out the channel. And have a great day.